Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how you can create a video quiz in the My Media repository. So I'm here, I'm logged into My Media, and if I click on Add New, I can select Video Quiz, and it's going to ask me the media that I want to put a quiz onto. So I'm going to choose this YouTube video, which is the Logging into Zoom with your Wagner account. Just press Select, and then it'll show up here. And you have a few options that you might want to look at first here on the left under Details. You can make settings for your quiz that you would like for your preferences. So you can change the name if you want of the quiz. If you want to show a welcome message, you can edit that message here. If you want them to be allowed to download the questions, you can either enable or disable this by just unchecking it. The instructions are automatically in there. If you don't want these instructions there, you can just disable it by unchecking it. Here under scores, you can decide if you want to allow multiple attempts or just the default one attempt. If you wanted to allow multiple, you could check that off here. If you want them to see their scores or not see their scores, you can set that up here. And if you want them to be able to see the answers after the quiz is submitted, you can check that or uncheck that if you wish. The last thing here is experience where you can allow the answers to change if you want. So as they're going through, if they decide to change their mind before they submit it, they could change their answer. This will also allow them to go to different questions. They could skip it for now and go back to it. If you don't want to allow that, you can mark that here. And if you don't want them to be able to seek forward, meaning they can't click on the parts of the video that are a quiz, you can check that off. This will make sure that they watch the whole video before they see the questions. So once you're done setting those parameters, you can start creating the quiz. So here on the right, we have our video, and we can just press play. Hi, everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can log into Zoom using your Wagner credentials. So let's say right there I want to add a question. I can pause it and click Add a Question, and I have four choices here. The first is multiple choice. So I'm going to choose multiple choice, and I can say, what is this video about? And if I put the correct answer, is always going to be first, so I'm going to write Zoom. And then you want to write your additional answers here. So if you want to add more, you're going to click the plus sign. Um, so I can write WebEx, and maybe one more we can put Mailport. Once you're done, you're going to click Save, and then it goes on to the next question. So maybe we want to watch a little bit Another more. Another two ways that we're going to talk about in this video, one is going to be logging in using the Wagner. So I'm going to pause it again, and maybe I want to add another question here. The other option is a true-false. So I can say there is only one way to log in, and that is going to be false. So you want to mark that as the correct answer by clicking on the answer here. You could see it has a check mark and this has the X, so you want to press save. And then you can continue going through the video if you wish as you go, press There's play. The web portal, and the other way is going to be using the desktop client that you'll download when you So I can go forward, forward if I want here, if I know so where I want to put the question. So I'm going to click add a question, and then the other two options you have here are reflection point. So I can say pay attention to this part, and this is just something that maybe you want to say to them, or maybe you can say, you know, um, think about how you can use this in your classroom, something like that, and press save. And then the last option here, I'm just going to go forward a little bit more and click add a question and choose an open-ended question. So I can say, do you understand how to log into Zoom? And then this will make it open-ended. So I press save and they'll be allowed to see that. Now keep in mind, the only two questions here that can be graded are the multiple choice and the true or false. The reflection point and the open-ended question are always going to be marked correct. So you want to keep that in mind when you are giving a quiz. If this is something that's going to be graded, you want to keep in mind that multiple choice and true and false are the only ones that are going to be factored into a grade. So once you're done creating your quiz, you're going to click, you can preview this if you want, or you can click on done. And once it's done, what it's going to do is create a copy of that video as the quiz. So the original will still be there. And you'll see when I click go to media page, there's going to be a quiz that was created for me. So let me click my media and I'm going to see, you'll see now it says logging into Zoom with your Wagner account quiz. So if we click on it, we can see what this is going to look like. And I'm going to press play here. And you'll see the first thing that comes up is welcome. In this video, you will be giving a quiz. Good luck. 
So I press continue, and then the video just starts Hi everyone, as normal. in this video, we're going to talk about how you can log into Zoom using your Wagner credentials. So you can see as the video, it just stopped automatically, and it says, what is this video about? And I can choose whatever that answer, or I can skip it for now, but I know I'm going to put the answer and press select, and then the video will just there continue are two on. That we're going to talk about in this video. One is going to be logging in using the Wagner so it says there is only one way to log in. I'm going to say true and get that answer wrong and press select. There's and then just so you can portal, see what the other two the other look like, is going to be try to count has been validated. So the first way we'll go over. This is pay attention to this part. This was our reflection. And we can press continue. Over is using the browser. And you can see I have Google Chrome here opened up. Now, I prefer to use Chrome, and it is recommended. And our last question is going to be, do you understand how to log into Zoom? And I can say yes and press save. So once I have Chrome done that, I've now completed the task. That's not to say that you can't use other browsers. And it's so I'm just going to Chrome press pause there, and I've completed this test. If you click on here, it says completed. Take a moment to review your answers or go ahead and submit. So if I could, I could review them or just press submit. And that will then submit the quiz. Now, there is a specific way that you will have to embed this inside of your Moodle course. And once we start talking more about the media gallery, we will talk more about how to embed this in your Moodle course as well. But basically, that's really all you need to know in regard to creating a video quiz and making it work for your class.